Outlaw Law is brought to you by Whitaker and Hamer Attorneys and Counselors at Law. Your law firm for life. We are back on the Outlaw Lawyers. Your hosts are Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer, managing partners, Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm. Of course, the firm, the power behind the program. Offices located Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuquay, Verena, Gastonia, and Moorhead City, which is where Cassandra Nicholas is joining us from. She is remote. And if you've got any situation you're facing, you can always call the firm, 800 659 1186. That's 800 659 1186. Leave your contact information. Briefly what that calls about, and an attorney with Whitaker and Hamer will be in touch. Again, 800-659-1186. Josh? All right, guys. I figured I'd start this by asking Joseph and Cassandra, have you guys ever gone through the pistol permit process in North Carolina? No. No. Uh, no, man. No, um, I haven't. So until this week, if you wanted a, uh, if you wanted to buy a handgun, so, you know, pistol is, re- is a referring to handgun. Like if you want to go buy a hunting rifle, you want to go buy a shotgun, you just walk into the store, you just buy it. Mm-hmm. They'll run up, they'll do whatever they do, background check or whatever, but you just walk out with your shotgun or your, or your, your hunting rifle. But if you wanted a handgun, um, you couldn't buy it unless you went down to the sheriff's office. I think it was, I don't know, 50 bucks or so. They're going to do a, a more severe background check on you and um, give you a pistol permit. You get five at a time. Five so, at a time. So I got five. The last time I went, I had, because uh, if you're going to go through it, you might as well get. Might as well get as many as you cause can. Because they're good. I yeah. can't remember how long they were good for. It doesn't matter anymore, but they're yeah. a couple of years. So I still got one in my truck because I only used four of my five last time. talking about your pistols or are you talking about your permits? Permits. Okay. Right. So I still got one pistol permit in the hopper because um, for a while, especially during the pandemic, there was a big backlog because you have to go through the county sheriff's department. Some sheriff's departments are quicker than others. I think Johnston County has a good rep- uh, good reputation of yeah, kind of getting through them. The Joko folks want their pistol permits, man. Well, Wake, Wake County under our last sheriff really bogged down, and there was a huge waiting period, and I think Mecklenburg County was probably the same uh, from what I heard. So getting a handgun took some time, took some effort, involved some fees. Mm-hmm. Some people think that's really good. Some people maybe not. I, I don't know, but the North Carolina uh, – Legislator, legislators passed a bill to eliminate. Uh, there, there's a couple of bills now to kind of take some things away from local sheriffs, um, but this one was a pistol permit bill that that got away. Got just you don't need them anymore, right? So I got tired of getting pistol permits, and um, I got sick of getting these pistol permits. <laughs> so I, I got my once you get your concealed carry, you can You're just good, yeah, right? You just yeah. do what you need yeah. to do. So that's why I never use my last. Just do what you permit. need to do, <laughs> <laughs> but. So pistol permits. So so they sent it to the governor, right? They said, "Hey, we're gonna we've passed this bill where we're gonna eliminate the need to go to the sheriff and get a pistol permit." Uh, governor uh, Governor Cooper vetoed it. He doesn't veto a lot because um, governors don't like to get their vetoes overturned. And right now, uh, there's enough votes to overturn this, so it went back. And sure enough, the legislature, with some Democrats and Republicans coming together, overturned the veto. And so, one Democrat. Oh, just one. Uh, I wish it was more. It sounds bipartisan. Yeah, that's that's still bipartisan. That is bipartisan. <laughs> How many buys do you need to have a partisan? <laughs> so so it's it's done, right? And this just came down this week. I don't know how it'll play out, but I'm, I might go walk into Cabela's tomorrow. And oh man, you have to see it in your eyes. More more guns <laughs> and um, busting up into Cabela's. But. I don't know. Are you saying this is irrelevant for people who already have a concealed carry permit? Yeah, it doesn't change like, anything for, for yeah, guys, you guys like still us. Carry, you're good for guys like us. Yeah. <laughs> you going to go buy you a gun today now that you found that out, Cassandra? <laughs> well, I don't have concealed I hear the carry pier either. is rough down that way. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, the, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of an antiquated process and, 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 you know, of course we've had some horrific gun violence in the, in the nation this week. And so it's, uh, it's nothing to make light of, but what was this do? You know, I guess that was the legislature's point is like, what yeah, is what are, you, what, are you, what are you accomplishing? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. that's, and that's gun laws in that general. Is a, that is a valid point. Cause what are, you know, gen, you know, genuinely, what are you, what are you accomplishing? Yeah. There's, there's a better mechanism. I understand what you're attempting to accomplish, but there's probably a better mechanism to, well, to accomplish that. I think anything, any, you know, anytime anything tragic happens, and of course it seems like it happens more and more frequently, and, and no one, no one, that doesn't sit well with anyone, whether you're, you know, you, you pro-gun laws, you, you, you're anti-gun laws, no one's happy with what's going on, and everybody, I think, wants a solution. We just don't get to the same place at the same time. Um, 
But anyway, so this this that was what Governor Cooper basically paraphrasing what he said is like, hey, this is going to lead to more guns out there, and and uh, it won't be as a rigorous process, and and so that was the argument. But it doesn't matter what the argument was because it, you know, they they overrode it, and now the pistol permit process in North Carolina, unless something happens, I, I don't know what would happen, is is no more. Of course, there's still federal laws, and, and you know, there's still background checks, and there's still things like that, but. Uh, pistol permits were a pain in the butt. Good gracious, man. The number of peas you've dropped on this. <laughs> I keep waiting for you to mess up. And, uh, and you're really, you're doing a great job, man. I want you to do it like with a Clint Eastwood. Peter Piper picked a pistol <laughs> permit. Pistol permit. And I'm not, I'm not a, I, 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 you know, I was raised with guns. You know, guns have never been. I was been raised a, with guns. <laughs> I was raised by the rifle. No, I've always, we've My always. My daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Rawhide. We've always we always had guns. Guns weren't a big deal to me. And uh, did you do one of those uh, those Christmas photos you seen? Nah. That? They've been putting those out there. All the like Congress nah. people who do the gun photos for Christmas. Look, I'm gonna take a With the sh- AR-15. Yeah, and, like the whole family. Everybody in the family's got one. Look, man, I. You tell me, little Mikey doesn't have an AR-15, Josh. <laughs> those people. Look, deprived. I, yeah, imagine it, a kid just Santa. Those Christmas pictures are unsettling. <laughs> yeah, what do you? I mean, well, it's it's pandering, right? Like no one, it's pandering. Like who the, who does that? The, the Congress people who want to play to their demographic. Mm. Yeah, that that those have always been unsettling to me. You know, um, well, well, nothing, and that's not nothing. to say that 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 being you know enjoying guns or being passionate about them or liking to hunt those things aren't unsettling in and of themselves, right? But it, but yeah, you get the whole family together, and take every, a everyone's picture. got their burners. <laughs> and this is your like, you could choose anything for your Christmas picture. But uh, nothing yeah. says warmth, love, and Christmas like an AR. So nothing you, says our savior. So did you ever see the Simpsons where Homer gets a handgun? Did you ever see that one? I, get, I, I, I know who has <laughs> <laughs> multiple times. Yeah, I know who's seen it. So over there, and over. There's I'm this, never going to watch The Simpsons. I'm just going to be like, because you're going to, you walk us through the series right. history. <laughs> so there's The Simpsons where Homer gets a gun. And as you might expect, Homer's not a very responsible gun owner. He uses it to turn off the lights, like change the TV, <laughs> like he's just shooting at everything. Yeah, His family yeah. moves out and leaves him, right? Because yeah. he's not safe. <laughs> and he joins the local gun club, which is mostly the Republican characters sure. on the show, right? And they kick him out too because he's so irresponsible with his gun. The point being, Nobody likes anybody who's super irresponsible. Who's like an idiot with a with a weapon. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Like you're talking about on either side of the aisle, right? Like, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember in high school we went out. Uh, we didn't really go out hunting. We just went out to. We went out in the woods to shoot. Right. We went out into the woods to shoot. And it was a couple of guys, and there was a new guy with us, and he was very irresponsible with his gun. Oh, you can't Ooh. bring the new guy to the shooting party, man. And like t- swinging it around. And yeah, stuff. we Ooh. took his gun away and made him walk back by himself. You know, nice. like you know. So that's. I like to think that's like America. Like, yeah, we that's are, what it should be. We're okay that's, my, with, that's the America that I uh, <laughs> I want to be in. We're okay with responsible gun ownership, yeah. but the irresponsible, the brandishing, like the. Uh, but anyway, the legislator, the legislature saw this as like another impediment for law-abiding citizens to get a pistol, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're true. That's not that's the the argument isn't like. We want every. We want all, you know. If you want to go rob a Seven Eleven, we want you to be able to do it easier. It's it's. I think that's the basis for most reasonable folks. The basis for like opposing additional restrictions is is they don't want impediments to the law abiding, decent, responsible people uh, to acquire weapons. Um, but yeah, man, the the whole idea, the whole concept of coming up with a solution is is just such a tricky thing, and uh, everybody gets so stuck, man. And I hate the fact that the increased frequencies almost desensitize people to the point sure. where it's like you're just throwing your hands up. And that's the wrong way to be, man. I think that happens a lot. And I think it happens, you know, on a lot of different areas. But yeah, I think people are, yeah, definitely desensitized to it. And then I think a lot of people on these on these larger scale problems, like what what do you do? You get that what do you do as an individual, you know, besides all we any of us can do is just go out and try to be responsible, good folks, you know, but I don't know. I don't know, man. I know we're up against a break. 
and we're not going to solve this problem before it's time to take a break. And we will take that break. The Outlaw Lawyers, Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer, managing partners, Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm, the power behind this program. They're practicing attorneys here in North Carolina. Offices located conveniently in Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuquay, Verena, Gastonia, and Moorhead City. Cassandra Nicholas also joining us on the program, an attorney with Whitaker and Hamer in that Moorhead City office. If you have a legal situation that you are facing and you just need some questions answered, I've got a phone number for you, 800 659 1186. Again, the number 800 659 1186. Leave your contact information, briefly what the call is about, and an attorney with Whitaker and Hamer will be in touch. And you can always email your questions to the show, and that's questions at the outlawlawyer.com. We'll use them on a future program. We're back to wrap it up right after this. <laughs> 